I know how difficult this journey can get. The music thing's fucking hard. Uh, it's really fucking hard. We all know that. I mean, Corey and I have been doing music for a fucking long time. Like, we all have been doing music for an extended period of time. And, uh, you know, it's funny, like, the times that really are worth it are made because of the hard times. You know what I mean? I've had a lot of, we've all literally had our hard times. And we fucking hate those hard times when they're happening. We're just like, fuck, 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 like, this sucks, I hate it, right? But, but, but it's so funny that when you do finally get that W, like that big one, you're, you're literally like, man, the reason this W is so good is because of the hard times that I had. You know what I mean? Like, I have so many fucking, I mean, I could just go on and on about the stories. I fucking uh shit last year like i was working three jobs at the same time coffee shop basketball trainer and i was doing like videos for a couple real real estate agents and i did like all of the jobs to be honest with you i love the people i worked with and like it was cool but but like working three jobs like trying to hustle is hard seven days a week you know i say the first 180 days were I had like maybe nine days off and it was fucking tough. But, but when I, when that last day of my coffee shop job happened, like when I talked to my manager and it was like a totally cool convo, I was like, dude, uh, putting in my two weeks, like I'm good. I made enough money with my music academy to where I can, you know, where I can, um, I don't have to work here anymore basically. So I'm going to like do my thing and just try to dive in. It wasn't exactly the right time. Like it wasn't super comfortable financially for me, but it was enough where I was like, I can do it. Uh, it was still a big risk and I took the risk. They were super happy for me. And then I've had the tough times even since then, like even since like, okay, cool. I'm all in like that first milestone of I am now doing just music full time. It's like, dude, I literally still go through the struggles. I just got hit with the fucking tax bill yesterday and I'm like, uh Oh, fuck me. And so like, I'm like, fuck, I'm get, I gotta get, I gotta get jiggy with it and figure that out. Like there's things that still fucking come up all the time, but I will tell you that literally like the way I've been doing things and how I've like kind of exited the music industry and done my own thing. I couldn't have been possible if I didn't produce my own songs. If, and I still work with fucking Corey. He's the only producer I work with, but I still work with Corey on songs. So it's not like I'm never working with a producer, but to have the power to be like, dude, I can do it on my own and work with Corey. I can do both. Right. When me and Corey get in the room and actually work on songs, it's that much better. Cause I can talk the talk. Like we know what the fuck we're talking about. And none of this would have been possible if I didn't take the leap and take the fucking bet on myself. Like all of you did joining this Academy. So when you guys are done and like you graduate this academy and you've like done your song, you've made it, you're finished, you release it, you're like, holy shit, I did it. Like I made a song that I made. Now I never have to rely on a producer and I never have to question where a song comes from. When that happens, you're going to notice like, damn, like the world's really open for me. Because for me, that's what happened. Uh, uh, suddenly the money looked different because I was like, I don't have to spend it here. Or like my time looked different. Because I was like, damn, I don't have to wait on anyone. I can do it myself if I want. And that's fucking beautiful. You can open different businesses. I did selling beats. I did mixing mastering. I've done a lot of that stuff. There's, I helped Ange. You guys know who Ange is in our academy? A-N-J. Okay. So she just made 5K last month with selling beats. And the month before she did four and a half. And she's a 20-year-old fucking in college. And she started with me the same exact fucking way of every one of you guys did. She did not really know how to produce that well, was super like unprofessional and didn't know what the fuck she was doing. Joined the academy, got two songs done in eight weeks, and then joined Music Masters, learned the business side for me, and now she's fucking crushing it. And so what you're learning here is gonna open up doors for you. So when you go through these tough times that you're all, we all always go through them, just remember like you're in the right place, keep the actions, keep your foot on the gas, Inputs over outcomes, be detached from the end result, and shit will work out somehow. Woo! Let's fucking go. All right. Let's make some fucking music, huh? 
Let's go. Drop a one in the chat if you're fired the fuck up. And uh, if you're not fired up, lie and put a one anyway, so I feel good. <laughs> We're gonna pull up Logic Pro. I'm popping up the headphones. Let's fucking make music.